Good night, fellow punchers. The clock on the wall says 25 minutes away from 11 o'clock on Tuesday night. Back with three from the Knavesmire that runs on the Knavesmire tomorrow at York. Um, three sort of each way selections. So an each way Trixie or an each way Treble would be the recommendation. Um, no luck today. Band three was our first one. Left its race in the stall. Slow away at the last time and to the over seven, but um, probably up to six pounds and didn't look to be too keen today to get the job done. Uh, came a bit wide. Um, I don't know. Might leave him off the next time. A mile at Chepstow, I thought it'd suit. Uh, or fast less them long, relentless galloping tracks. But we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, maybe a fast run seven when the other one's a bit low and down. We'll see. Um, the other one told its story before the start. Opened in the ring at five to two, drifted out to five to one, eleven to two, high wind. Uh, Colin Keane wasn't too busy. I'd say there's a plan for that. Could be Galway, one of those two mile handicaps. Probably figuring out today uh, what um, what's under the bonnet. Um, it cost us to find out though but we'll try and recoup them losses again we'll just keep an eye on it I thought uh, it might be classier than that uh, but it wasn't off the air um, I forgot to mention last night uh, I met Mickey Nevin from Longford at the races and he gave me a few quid uh, for charity um, and I know where I'm sending it uh, actually I must give it to him at Burke. I I met him at last night and Conor Murphy at the races. Uh, they have over 17,000 collectors uh, on the 32-32-32 challenge. Uh, but to the after that, I think I met Mickey. Mickey was looking for custard in Roscommon. I think there was a pint of custard he was looking for. A uh, good character. Uh, also, a shout out to Jack Murray from Boyle. A wee man, as I say, from Donegal. Uh, he was there with his dad Damien uh, he was enjoying the races and enjoying his ice cream his cone, I know that it was a 99 the chocolate was gone after the 99 anyway he was wolfing it into him where's the young lads going through the races um, also to newcomers on the bus Roy Lenehan uh, Michael Dara, MD from Sligo Barry Lynham Scott Jimson Sean Murphy, George Vokelic uh, Andy, just playing old Andy. Well, it could be playing young Andy. Brenda McNamara. Michael Lenehan came on uh, the other day. I forgot to mention him as well. And he mentioned something about it. And it was his dad or granddad that uh, used to be around Strokestown years ago. Um, that would be that far away. And actually, the president of the local GA club is a Lenehan as well. He's in his early 80s. Uh, Paul Murphy is a newcomer. Jared Stokes. Mr. Punjana, uh, P. Did Dash 90, Andy Dixon, John O, Martin Higgins, and I have to be careful, very careful with the last name. So I'm just going to say it very slowly. Mike Hunt. Say that fast, some of you, and see what you'll come up with. I nearly fell for I did fall for this morning when I was reading it. Anyway, you're all very welcome. Uh, a lot of comments to be answered this morning. It took me half an hour uh, to, longer. Just take a good few minutes to do it. Um, and I got a couple of emails wondering how my health was. My health is fine. Way better than it was in 2018 and 19. What I'm doing seems to be doing me well. The only time I don't feel normal is when I have to inject myself three mornings a week, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday with a drug called Copaxone. That's supposed to push out the relapses of the MS. Apart from that, I'm flying it, I think. Um, I thought I'd be going downhill by now, but I'm not. I'm trying to keep uphill if possible. So long may it continue. We we'll have to keep positive. We we'll have to keep chugging along in the middle lane. Three for tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I'm away in the... the today, what should I do today? Weeds. i never seen as much weeds growing, and there were... Five and six and eight inches tall in the front uh, of the house and on the side of the house and the back. 
Um, I never seen anything like it in the last week. Of course, that's with the rain that we came out came and the few hot days. That's great weather for weed. So a couple hours I spent weeding today because I'll be gone again tomorrow. And I got the lawn done uh, this evening as well. And I went off and I picked up American E-Class uh, for tomorrow. So I'm heading for Dublin in the morning, quarter to seven. Heading for Langerland tomorrow night uh, again down in Kinsale. Uh, on to Killarney for two nights, Galway two nights and Clonterf Castle to wind her up. Oh no, I have a night in Innes as well uh, in the old ground. So... Uh, Batteries recharged and away we go tomorrow again. Uh, let's get out of here and three for tomorrow. In the first race tomorrow, the one fifth, the two fifteen. A four year old always does fairly well, and if you need to be better, you know, sort of a as I say, a group horse and a handicap. And if you look at it there, four year olds won it uh, from two thousand and. 13 all the way to last year and Scampy won it um, and there was a couple of them rated there 102 and 104 uh, Willie Haggis Balding Appleby, Gosden all the top years, uh, Michael Stout is one of their uh, horse that um, the horse that I picked out is Klondike. I hope we have a Klondike. Klondike is, if someone is making a lot of money, they'll say he's on a Klondike. Whatever do he be doing it. It's a four-year-old, trained by Willie Haggis, has wind surgery since his last run. Well bred, and it's it's related to, it's not related to Camari, isn't that the one? Uh... Bear with me one second. By Galileo. Yeah, it's a half brother to Camari. And that was at rated 108, 110 around that. And out from under as well, uh, a two time winner. Um, form of the hearth. One first time out, a Newbury maiden over. A mile three, then ran in a listed race, second to Gregory, fourth into Castle Way, uh, and seventh in last time out. But excuse for that would be the wind surgery. But if you look at that race, like you had Castle Way, Tower of London, St. George, um, it looks to be above average, um, um, an above average handicapper. I see the future entries, it's entered in the Hardwick, the group two. For to run in that, you'd imagine it would have to be going close tomorrow. Uh, it was six to one earlier. Bit of money for it, nine to two. Uh, make up your own mind uh, whether it win bet, win bet uh, but we can go in each bit treble with the three I've picked. We go on to the Duke of York as well. A group two. Won by Azure Blue last year as a four-year-old High Peel Princess. That was a Group 1 horse. Um, sadly, departed life uh, a few months ago. But Starman, Invincible Army, Harry Angel, Tazleet, Magical Memory, all four-year-olds. Um, I'm going for a four-year-old as well that has won twice at the track. The rating suggests it has to improve, but I'm hoping from a three-year-old to a four-year-old it will have improved somewhat. That is Swing Along by Showcasing for Carol Burke. It was ran twice at the track. Uh, won a handicap, uh, well, I won a group two of uh, beating Queen Mia 25 to 1 when Sony rated 83. And then it won uh, a group. Three last year beating Royal Acclaim in a decent time as well. What am I doing here? The last time it was seen, um, was in the Champion Sprint Stakes. The Group One ran well, but it it was. We look at it here. It run. It was wide the whole way. It wasn't. If 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 it was drawn closer to the pace. 
I think it had been right there at the finish. It, it done a solo run up the right hand side as we look at it. Ben Ross is being asked one or two questions now by Frankie. Then run to freedom and sense of duty. And then running on on the far side is Millstream and Rohan making ground as well. Running down to the final furlong. Swing along on the near side. Ken Ross is now responding in the centre. His stamina coming into play. He gets to half power on the near side. Swing along and then spy catcher. And Ken Ross finishing off really well. Half power is fighting back and has done him. Half power. The fact that it ran on its lonesome didn't help. Um, the leech way bet is a 7 or 8 to 1 shot. Hoping that it will have improved like from 3 to 4 but having contested a couple of group 1s the 15 to 2 there was a lot of them. Um, the, one, the last race then the getting out handicap grand name for a race the getting out stakes. This harsh open six to one war ran. It's nine to two in a lot of them now. Used to be with Michael Stout. Mickey Stout. It's rated eighty two now. It's one of eighty three and off eighty six. It went up as far as ninety six to then the nineties. Two runs for the three runs, well two runs this year for uh, Jamie Osborne. But if you look at the last race in Windsor, look at the start of it. When it breaks out of the stall, it loses the power of ground. Lined up and ready and off and racing. Look at it here. And a pretty slow wayward start by Waran. Not quite sure what happened to her, but she's given away a lot of lengths at the start there for Safi Osborne and is tra trailing the field by about 10 lengths. Very quickly away, Tajamar in the hands of Rab Havlin for this free digital race card at racedayready.com, handy. I'll watch the finish. It'll be on the right-hand side of the picture. The move goes well. Right and then right behind them then comes just an hour. It's just beginning to pick up. Then on the far side there, Lissio is getting into it quite strongly. Red sleeves and red cap. Even wider on the outside is uh, Waran, who's staying on from a mile back down the middle of the course. They're coming inside the final furlong. Way of life on the near side, just in front. Waran is on for an almost miracle here. As Infinity, Insanity just sneaks up the inside to win it. Insanity's won. It. Way of life in second. Waran, run of infinity insanity. Waran looks to be well enough handicapped. Third run back after the layoff. How long was the layoff again? October, December, March. That should have put him sort of right. Um, there's a couple of four-year-olds. Asgard's captain, and the bottom one of Tim Easterby's. Four-year-olds have a decent enough. For a, strike rate in this as we'll see six year old and a five year old the last two years and then with one two three four five six with six years in a row to four year old um, and there was a couple of them very lowly rated 70 was uh, 7 and 78 and 82 which should bring into play at the bottom weight 66 you wouldn't know what because Tim used to be targets this meeting you wouldn't know what if there was a gamble on that joke uh, but that looks to be well handicapped. I thought the niche way of play as well went to that sixes. Still, look at me either Jackson or Johnson. Um, so there's the three. I couldn't sort of find anything at Sligo uh, or Tipperary uh, or even for that matter Perth. So that's it for tomorrow. Um, there's a couple of better ones the next day, so hopefully, um, at least we'll, uh, at least we'll we'll try and break even at at, at worst tomorrow. Dash the bookies over and out.